afternoon, minor league baseball fans. We welcome you to the championship series of 2018 between the visiting Midland Rockhounds and the San Antonio Missions. <coughs> Series continues later on as we have game two of our five game set. Rockhounds and Missions will together hit the road on different buses to Midland and <clears throat> we'll have our three final games of the season. After that we bid the final farewells of the San Antonio Missions. As they get ready for AAA next year. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also follow the Rockhounds for the remainder of this season. All season long with the first pitch app. You can download that on any smartphone. <clears throat> And now, get out your scorecards. Here's today's starting lineups. First for the visiting Midland Rockhounds. <clears throat> Leading off in first, Alfredo Yabara. Yabara at first. John Whaley be the right fielder for Midland. Whaley at right. <clears throat> Ernie. Peralta would be the shortstop for the Rockhounds. Batting fourth, the third baseman, Tate Sanborn. Sanborn at third. Boog Powell be the center fielder for the Rockhounds. Powell at center. Vincent Garvey, the left fielder, bat six for Midland. Garvey at left. <clears throat> Designated hitter, that is Rafael Blanco. Blanco, the DH. Batting eighth, the catcher, Benito Lopez. Lopez catching. And batting ninth for the Rockhound order, second baseman, Rondale King. Rounds out the batting order for the Rockhounds today. And taking the mound for the Rockhounds... Gerardo Rincon. Rincon today's Rockhounds pitcher. <clears throat> and now here's a starting lineup for the San Antonio Missions. Leading off in first, Javier Villanueva. Villanueva at first. Shane Peterson be the center fielder for San Antonio. Peterson in center. Brian Chi will be the shortstop. Chi is short. John Teague be the right fielder for the missions. Teague at right. <clears throat> Alex Dickerson be the left fielder for San Antonio. Dickerson at left. Cleanup hitter and designated hitter Matt Harper. Harper in cleanup. Batting 7th, the 2nd baseman, Pablo Cablera. Cablera at 2nd. Batting 8th, the catcher, Stuart Estes. Will be catching for San Antonio. Batting 9th, the 3rd baseman, Louis Chassian. Will round out the batting order for San Antonio today. Chassian at 3rd. And taking the mound for San Antonio, Brian Mitchell. Mitchell today's missions pitcher. And there is your starting lineups.
Daytime Baseball here on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Number 10 will be tasked with the starting pitching assignment for the away team. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now with the plate, Javier Villanueva. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First baseman, Javier Villanueva. First delivery to him on the way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Ripped on the ground to first. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Lead-off hitter, and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a lead-off double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position one batter into the game. Stepping in now, Shane Peterson. One ball, no strikes to count. 1-0 count, here it is. Two balls and no strikes. Peterson. Stands in at an even six feet, throws left-handed, swings the bat the same way. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has a tool set like this. Sanborn will back up and put this one away just past the dugout for the first out. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's going to be the key for him today, Mark? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me, they are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now, on the bump, has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. Owen won the count. Set to deliver the Owen one. Fouled off. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards left center. Garvey giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Batting four. Right fielder. John Teague. Coming to the plate now, John Teague, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Zero. Falling a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Villanueva at second with two down. He's fallen behind now, three and one. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. There's ball four. Batting ten, the left fielder number 24, Alex. Stepping up now, Alex Dickerson. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First pitch on its way. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. 
Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Row. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Matt Harper. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot of it deep down the line. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. The one-two. Sky down the left field line. Garvey is in pursuit. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So one run on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. San Antonio's out in front, one to nothing. Brian Mitchell will be the one doing the pitching for the home side. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Standing in, Alfredo Ibarra. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fly ball out toward left center field. Peterson has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? A huge key I see for this lineup is they're going to have to make this defense work. They're not afraid to kick a baseball around. If they can put the ball in play and make this defense beat themselves, they don't even have to worry about running into a three-run home. Now at the plate, John Whaley, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Into the box now, Ernie Peralta. This is back toward the mound. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And the tag. Too late as he's across to tie things at one. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides. The defensive side and the offensive side to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw. But that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play, but it all worked out. Standing in now, Tate Sanborn. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. So that will bring in the outfielder, Boone Powell, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0 1 pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Peterson looks up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
So a three-run shot to right center field as they take the lead 4-1. to one. Great swing right there. Sometimes you just see that ball pop out of that pitcher's hand just a little bit different than that fastball. And he was able to stay back, keep his front shoulder locked, and take that off-speed pitch. Through. Stepping in now, Vincent Garvey. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back-to-back -back home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or if he blows up. Could go either way at this point. And now, Rafael Blanco. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Into the box, Benito Lopez, as he grounds one briskly to short. Chi is up with it, throwing the dirt to first, and he can't come up with a clean one. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it, or you're going to be on the wrong end of games more often than not. Standing in now, Rondell Keen. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having to use out of your bullpen just to get through this thing. Not a good spot to be in. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Teague is there, two down. First baseman, number two, Alfredo. Ibarra. Ready now, Alfredo Ibarra. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. Hit to third. Scooped up. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. One inning in the books here. The Rockhounds are out in front, 6-1. to one. Leading off the inning, Pablo Cabrera, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hit back up the middle. Keen loves it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. 
And the guy controlling center field today, I can't emphasize this enough. If you want a good ball club, you better be strong up the middle. Center field being that main component with catcher, shortstop, and second base. This guy takes tremendous routes to the ball. Strong and accurate arm and just a leader on the field. Striding in, Stuart Estes as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Fastball. Ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Into the box now, Luis Chassin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. Stepping in now, Javier Villanueva as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Powell is there now and he has it, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, center fielder, Shane Peterson. At the plate, Shane Peterson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing hard liner to left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. That makes it a 6-2 to two game. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, D-Row, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad hit started. Brian Chi is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Chassin at second, Peterson at first, two out in the inning. Two, here it is. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two, two. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Flying toward right center. But he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9, and the inning is over. So one run here on two base hits. No errors, and a couple of men left. On now to the bottom of the second. The Rockhounds lead it 6-2. to two. Riding in once again, John Whaley will try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Soft liner towards short, and this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. You want to talk about shutting a running game down? 
The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get but two-step lead off first base today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right side. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw on to first will take care of him. And the home second has been a quick one so far. Already two gone now. Good range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. In now, Tate Sanborn. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Into the box, Boog Powell. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the break. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So nothing doing here after the six-run outburst the inning before. We played two full. The Rockhounds are out in front, six to two. So here's the cleanup hitter, John Teague. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Strike. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Fouled off. Looks at a ball, one and two. Count still at one and two. The one two. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So coming to the plate, Alex Dickerson. He reached on a single in his first try. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he falls behind now, 2-0. That curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. Matt Harper is on deck. Rule the strike on the outside corner, three and one. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much? I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one right down Main Street. Harper is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And that one is gone! Two run shot to straight away center, and they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep, but it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. Ball one to start the at bat. The pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Oh. 
Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Now batting. Now batting, Stuart Estes. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. One and oh, the count. The one oh. In the air now, out to right field. Whaley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting. Digging in now, Luis Chassin. He singled his last time up from the stretch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And he takes a cold strike one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Ibarra is there, and that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We play two and a half. The Rockhounds lead it six to four. So digging in now, Vincent Garvey. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. Digging in, Rafael Blanco. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Standing in now, Benito Lopez. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Now batting. Second baseman, Rondell Keen. So striding in, Rondell Keen. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Peterson is after it to gone. The relay throw. And they get the double play at third. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The Rockhounds are out in front, six to four. Leading off the inning, Javier Villanueva, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2, I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1-2. and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0-2, oh but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off-speed stuff. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear. Stepping in now, Shane Peterson on the ground near home. And there's one away. Now batting, George Brown, Brian Chee. Stepping in, Brian Chi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. The 
one on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Villanueva leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he takes a called strike two. The one two lifts it into the air to shallow center. Powell has it in his sights and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The right fielder number 30, John Teague. Coming to the plate now, John Teague. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One and one to count. The one one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And another foul ball. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Alfredo Ibarra. First pitch of the at bat on its way towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. Now back, right fielder, John Whaley. Now at the plate, John Whaley will swing it from the left side right here. First pitch on its way. Ground ball right side. Cabrera in the hole. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Now batting, Northstop, Ernie Peralta. Now to the plate, Ernie Peralta. First delivery to him on the way. To first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played four full. The Rockhounds lead it six to four. Into the box, Alex Dickerson. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The left fielder number 24, Alex Dickerson. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. The 0 1. And that one just missed outside. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. It's fair to say that early on, at least, the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon, a high-scoring affair thus far, and we're only in the fifth inning. Ready to take his hacks again, Matt Harper, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. One ball, no strikes to count. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Takes a knee high fastball. A ball and two strikes now. The 1 2. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Again, a 1-2. And he'll 
just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's in there for a called third strike on the split-fingered fastball, two away. Two up, two down on strikes now in this man. inning. He looks Second really man. sharp out there, guys. Cabrera. Striding into the box, Pablo Cabrera. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The wind up and the 0 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Digging in and looking for more, Tate Sanborn. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. Again, a nice clean base hit. It's third of the game. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then pound in the zone late. So that'll bring in the outfielder, Boog Powell. He swings and rounds it to short. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The batter, the fielder, Vincent. So striding forward now, Vincent Garby comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Sanborn rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores as they push their lead to three now. Throw in will wind up holding him to just a single, but he does pick up an RBI as runners move to the corners now and the trouble deepens. He didn't fool anybody there because he was waiting on that curveball all the way. Stays back and lets it break right over the heart of the plate. Gives it a ride and drives in a run. Nice piece of hitting right there. Ken Courtney comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. In now, Rafael Blanco. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Now a 9-4 ball game. Now batting. After. Digging in. Benito Lopez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0. Ground ball left side. He's got it. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no odds. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. He's set. Here it comes. Liner toward right center. Oh, and he misses it. Lopez rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a six-run lead. Man, that was a comedy of errors right there. They're kicking the ball all over the yard, and the runner on first comes all the way around to score. So you wonder why managers retire early? There's your answer right there.
Into the box, Alfredo Ibarra, as he grounds one briskly to short. Chi takes it in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here, with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Ready for another shot now, John Whaley. First pitch on its way. Soft liner towards center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. Lawn darts and hand grenades right there. Vixen in some knocks. The unlikely way. Standing in now, Ernie Peralta. He swings and grounds it to short. Right to him. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. Five innings complete. The Rockhounds are out in front, 11 to 4. Digging in once again, Stuart Estes. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0 home misses for the second ball. Two balls and a strike. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pick. And it's fouled away. To short, Peralta is there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, third baseman, Luis Chassin. Settling in now, Luis Chassin. Here comes the first pitch. <laughs> Takes a high fastball for a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Behind 0-2 now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And d -Roll right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. Keen will put this one away, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Rockhounds lead it 11 to 4. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Tate Sanborn. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Sanborn. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Chi comes up with it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Center fielder, number three. Oh, Powell. So that'll bring in the outfielder, Boog Powell. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is line to left. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in.
Into the box now, Vincent Garvey. He swings and grabs it to short. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Back here on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. At the plate, Shane Peterson. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Standing in, Brian Chi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Soft liner to the right side, and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Hey, he had just retired 10 straight until that base hit right there. That's into almost fourth inning of him not ever seeing the stretch. We'll see how he does with a runner on now. In now, John Teague standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that. You... And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Next will be the designated hitter, Rafael Blanco, coming off the clutch. Two-run single his last time up. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Benito Lopez. Stepping up to the plate, Benito Lopez. First delivery to him on the way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson sprinting after it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, second baseman, Rondell King. Stepping into the box, Rondell Keene. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out on ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. Into the box, Alfredo Ibarra softly hit out to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Matt Harper. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Here comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. Seven solid innings for him in this one as he gave his club a very strong outing indeed. Ronan Ramos is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number seven, Ronan Ramos. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The next 0-2. Swing and a ground ball to third, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The next 0-2 is a slider oh, taken for a ball. Popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Garvey on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. So stepping in, Pablo Cabrera. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Ranging back to the track, to the wall. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Dero. The hitter's on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about uh -huh. executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit work. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Whaley racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. That was a good controlled swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. So the lineup flips over and digging in Javier Villanueva. He's two for four in the ball game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Hit on the ground for the left. Sanborn over to his left. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Rockhounds are out in front, 11 to 6. Stepping in, John Whaley. Leading off of the Rockhounds. Right fielder. First pitch coming, here it is. Whaley. A little bouncer, but it gets fouled. This one's down to third. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Getting late in the day here. And as this has been a long one, we check out our line score to this point. The scoreboard operator is going to sleep well tonight because, as you can see, he's been a pretty busy man through the first seven and change. Digging in, Ernie Peralta. He's one for four for the game. 
First delivery to him on the way. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. Drilled right back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Third baseman, number seven. Stepping into the box, Tate Sanborn. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Teague has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter, center fielder. Oh. Now to play good power. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Popped high in the air. Chassin is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Into the box now, Shane Peterson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitch. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Our coordinating producer, Chris Gill, tells me in my headset to tell you not to miss our postgame highlights. That'll come your way at the conclusion of matters here this afternoon, right here on the show. Ready for another chance. Brian Chi. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. One out, nobody on. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on the defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Now, Do you think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at-bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go big. Fouled off. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0-1 on its way. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind it one too. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. High in the air down the right field line. Whaley moves over. And he makes the catch for the second out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Peralta is calling for it. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. 11 to 6 the final score in this ball game. The Rockhounds jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Geraldo Rincon earns the victory on the mound. Brian Mitchell gave up a whopping nine earned runs in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For my partners Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. And so with the Rockhounds winning the first game of the championship, the Rockhounds get a 1-0 lead against San Antonio. Well, later on this evening, we are going to have another game. And most likely, it will be the second game of our five-game set. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon.
Well, the missions in the rock count will have one last game in San Antonio. And this is the permanent final game for the home crowd to watch. And most likely they will be sad to see the rock counts and the missions go head to head one last time well before we go let's go over runs hits and errors first for the victorious midland rock counts 11 runs on 17 hits no errors for the san antonio missions six runs on a 10 hits and two costly errors wow that you don't see every day well, anyway, we hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us at the ballpark. Our final from San Antonio, 11-6. One and all, Medlin wins it. Don't forget to check out the shownation.com. And don't forget to tune in for more streams live from the show.com. And also the YouTube channel, Jay Baker Vlogs.